For more than 70 years, AJHG has been producing wide-ranging, high-impact human genetics research. Editor-in-Chief Dr. Bruce Korf joins us now in studio with more on how you have worked over the last several years to improve the already sterling reputation of the journal. Good morning. Good morning. Let's talk a little bit about the inception of AJHG. It was one of the first initiatives of ASHG. That's my understanding, yeah, but before my time, but <laughs> yes. Um, yes, indeed, I think um, the journal was the first kind of major ASHG initiative, I think even before there was a, an annual meeting. All right, well, let's talk about some of the different journals that AJHG publishes. What are you looking for? So we are looking for the best quality science that is of interest to the members and to the, to the genetics research community in general. You know, genetics is a huge area, really, human genetics, and there are many, many different ways to look at it from a research point of view. And what we are hoping to do is to really sort of keep abreast of, of the latest in what's going on in genetics to sort of light the way in terms of where the opportunities are and to showcase the best quality research from people in the field and, and really use it as a way to disseminate information in a timely way. So for members who maybe have not checked it out just yet, what can they expect from AJHG and then also HGG Advances, the, the sister publication? What they can expect is to see um, really high quality research presented in an understandable and um, you know, uh, really uh, copy edited high quality way. Uh, you know, we put a lot of attention into working with authors to providing them the best service as, as their papers go through the system. It's a peer reviewed journal. There's a lot of attention to um, being sure that the science is right and you know, I think readers can get a snapshot of what is going on in the field um, by perusing the pages. And I should say that, you know, we're constantly interested in seeing not just what have people been doing, but what are people doing and where do we see the field going? And we, we try our best to um, make no assumptions of, you know, what we want to see be submitted. If it's human genetics, we're interested in it. So you mentioned kind of what it is you are looking for. What is the benefit to members for submitting their research? I think the benefit is um, obviously in the long run getting the attention of the community in a, a high impact journal that um, people will read and you know if you want your research to reach the widest possible audience this is a way to make that happen. And it sounds like making sure that not only the research is top notch but also that the way that it's presented is easily digestible is, is a top priority. That's right. I mean there, there is a lot of attention to consistency, to copy editing. Um, so you know the, the journey that the paper goes on begins with peer review and then it goes straight to production once um, it's passed through peer review and what comes out at the other end, I think most authors would say is a lot better than what was submitted in the first place. <laughs> Very nice. All right, you just mentioned that you're already starting to think ahead, looking forward to the 75th anniversary of AJHG. What is some of the most exciting research that's been published recently? Well, you know, I think for a long time, the journal was, I think, at the vanguard of, of what you might call rare disease discovery. And it was one of the journals that I think published the most in terms of identifying the genetic basis for these conditions and then ultimately moving towards function and even towards therapeutics. But I'd say in the last few years, the ability to look at so-called complex disorders, conditions that are not determined by changes in just one gene, but by combinations of genes, has become an increasingly important part of the research landscape in genetics, and it is an area that the journal has really worked hard to, to provide coverage of. Well, congratulations on the success already, and we look forward to what you have in store for the 75th anniversary. Thank, Thank you, you for your time this morning. Thanks very much.